Picking the right tools for your agency can be the difference between your agency breaking down or growing to seven figures. If you pick a tool that isn't right for you, you'll waste a ton of time using it and switching over to the next one, and you'll also waste money on the wrong tool. Picking the right software is one of those key factors that will actually help your business to grow. The problem is, is there's a plethora of apps to choose from in the market. In this video, I'll be sharing the top 15 pieces of software that I've personally used at my agency, and I'll be breaking down exactly what they do and how much they cost. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Sam, and I help agency owners scale to 100K per month and beyond without sacrificing your freedom. So without further ado, let's dive into the video. Notion. Now, this won't come as a shock to anyone, but Notion is on the top of my list. I am a certified Notion consulting partner, but I still believe strongly that Notion is the best project management software for agencies. If you haven't come across Notion before, imagine if you combined Google Docs, Airtable, and a project management software like ClickUp all into one tool, and that is what you have with Notion. Notion allows you to create custom workspaces and has an API that can connect to third-party automation tools like Make or Zapier. For that reason, it's often described as an all-in-one solution. But here are my favorite use cases for Notion. Firstly, knowledge management. Notion handles capturing and documenting SOPs and processes really well, and it's a nice UI UX for your team to use and search for different uh, pieces of information. Notion AI capabilities also allows you to use the information that's inside of your workspace to search with a Notion AI chatbot to find different things. So for example, if one of your team wanted to search what is our policy on annual leave, Notion will be able to find that information based on what was written in your company wiki. Notion can be used as your CRM or your client relation manager. It's really good at creating uh, pipelines for your different deals. You can assign different deal values. And what's also important is that once that information has been captured inside a Notion, when you then hopefully win the deal and convert it into a project, Notion can also manage your projects. And so project management is the third thing that you can use it for. And the connection between CRM or the sales part of the process and the film part of the process is a strong reason why lots of my clients have adopted both Notion for sales and fulfillment. You can handle your strategic planning in Notion really well. So if you want to start using OKRs or objectives and key results, you can create them in Notion. You can connect the two together so you can see how well your objective is doing based on the number of uh, key results and, and their metrics. And again, you can share this with the rest of the team in a UI UX that's really nice for them to understand. And finally, overall team management. So you can capture meeting notes and um, the different conversations that you've had with your team. And then you can also have KPIs or key performance indicators inside of Notion. And so you can give each of your key members a key metric that they're in charge of. And at the end of the working week, you can all enter in your metrics and see where there's areas of improvement. If you'd like to skip the building process and install a Notion agency system inside of Notion automatically, you can check out my Notion for Agencies uh, template with the link in the video description. It's been trusted by over 270 different agencies and it's quickly becoming the number one solution for agencies in Notion. So how much will this cost? Well, Notion has multiple different plans from their basic plan, which is free, all the way up to their enterprise plan for bigger companies. I would suggest for agencies and for small teams, all you need is the plus plan, which comes in at $12 per month per user. And with that, you're going to get all of Notion's features. You're not gonna have a block limit um, and you're gonna most importantly be able to invite uh, team members and create team spaces and those different um, um, areas for your business. Calendly. So if you're a 21st century agency, I really do believe that you should have a meeting bookings platform. And I've found Calendly has been the best for my needs. Calendly ultimately saves a ton of time. Uh, instead of playing email tennis with your clients trying to book onto your next meeting, all you need to do is send them a link to your Calendly with all of your um, availability already baked into it and they can pick a time at, that works for them. Calendly can also be embedded into multiple different platforms. And so we have it inside of our website. And then we also have it in lots of our different sales assets inside of Notion. So once someone's finished reading one of our sales letters, there is a Calendly embed right there for, book, for them to book onto a call with us. You can also create questionnaires inside of Calendly. And so you can collect information about your clients before they book onto a call. And I use this information to then create an automation 
with Canly uh, to my CRM in Notion. And so, for example, when someone books on for a discovery call, inside of Notion, a project is created in my CRM, as well as a meeting note with all of their answers to the questionnaire. So I have all of the information I need to go onto the sales call. Finally, Canly allows you to create um, email workflows or email sequences directly from their platform. And so, for example, once someone books onto a discovery call, you might actually have some of your sales materials or your visual sales letter um, be sent to them over the course of a week or before the call. And so essentially they are going to be uh, consuming all the information that you need them to understand before you actually sit down and talk to them. Canly starts at $10 a month per user. Plutio. So on this channel, I promote having a productized service and uh, for that reason, hopefully having to do away with the proposal. But if you are an agency that does have to handle proposals, Plutio is my favorite platform for this. The reason for this is because it's actually your proposal, your contract and your invoicing software wrapped all into one. Using Plutio and the templates that you can create, you can quickly create a proposal that has all of the line items as well as any other information you want in there. For example, client testimonials, FAQs, timelines, that sort of thing. And then once that is shared with the client, it will automatically create an invoice based on the information. So the client can sign the proposal, then sign a uh, contract, and then it will then send it will all go over to a invoice automatically and they can pay the invoice all in one uh, seamless process. Pletio starts at $19 with the option to have a premium feature with white labeling and things like that. Make. Make is our preferred um, automation tool of choice. Um, there are others out there like Zapier, but we've found with Make, you can use it to automate a heck of a lot more um, and, and for a cheaper price. Make also um, connects quite nicely to Notion and has a few more capabilities than Zapier does. The only uh, prerequisites I'd say to this or warning um, is Make is a bit more of an advanced software um, and uh, it allows you to do a lot more than Zapier does. So it's a little, a little bit less user friendly. And so if you're just starting out, I would actually recommend Zapier over Make. Um, but if you're into automations, uh, Make is definitely the better platform. So Make's pricing is based on the number of operations, which essentially means when a scenario is triggered, if there's any data that needs to be taken action on, that counts as an operation. And so I think their starting price is at $9 for 10,000 operations per month. And that tends to be more than enough for most people. Free Agent. Free Agent is our accounting software of choice. Um, and essentially with accounting softwares, as well as being able to uh, track all of your finances, you can create a bank feed with a, a accounting software. And so all of your transactions can automatically be sent into the software. And so uh, your bookkeeping comes a lot easier. My accountants also have direct access to this um, accounting software. And so when it comes around to doing my taxes, they just have to have access to the software and, and take care of it for me and I can be completely hands off. We actually have a deal here in the UK, which is if you have, um, haven't have created a business account, uh, business bank account yet, and you set one up with NatWest, you get a free, free agent account. So I'm using that and that is a big reason why I'm using free agent. But apart from it being free, um, I actually really do like the software. It's really easy to use. Um, and uh, I like its uh, auto category feature, which basically means based on what you have tagged the different uh, transactions before, it will then automatically put those on and you just need to approve it to see if it's right. So for the pricing, it's free um, with that um, uh, NatWest um, account bank account. Slack. So we use Slack for all of our internal communication um, and I really can't see running an agency without Slack. But the thing I would say is that you should definitely establish some clear communication uh, guidelines when it comes to messaging on Slack. So that might include setting up your channels specifically, having a way to um, answer um, things in threads um, and maybe using even an emoji system uh, to make sure that um, people can quickly respond to things. For the price, I use Slack for free. I don't see any reason to have any of the premium features, but if you're a bigger team, you might need the premium. Loom. So I am a number one fanboy of Loom. I really, really love the software. And the reason for that is it just saves me so much time. We use it for workspace documentation for all of our clients' workspaces in Notion, um, as well as any of the templates that we create inside of Notion. 
It can also be used for SOP writing. So Loom now has a feature that if you record your screen and walk through a process, it will then automatically create an SOP for you using AI. And uh, more broadly, it can just reduce meetings. So if you have a question for someone that is a bit too complicated to write in a message in Slack, you can just record your screen explaining what it is, showing them what it is, and hopefully having to avoid actually going on a call. For Loom, the pricing is $12.50 for uh, per month per user. Sendra. Sendra is a client testimonial platform. So essentially this allows you to quickly set, send links out to your clients and they are able to capture testimonials. You can capture written testimonials, but you can also really easy, easily capture video testimonials. I like this option because it makes it as easy as possible for the client. And when you are asking for testimonials, it can often be a bit of resistance from the client. So whatever you can do to make their experience of collecting the testimonial um, as simple and even as enjoyable as possible, then I'm all for it. I particularly like Sendra because it um, helps me capture video testimonials um, a lot easier. And what you can actually do is you can have all of the um, instructions in the uh, page that the client will film the video so that they can refer to the notes nice and easily. So what I have in my Sendra is the questions um, that I want to ask them and I want them to answer. And so I'm able to collect video testimonials that are hitting all of the key points that I actually want inside of them from my client. Senja is easily embeddable in inside of your websites. And I also think that if you do have written testimonials, um, if you add it to your website and you keep the Senja logo, it actually gives a sense of legitimacy because people can see that it's actually been collected from Senja um, and it's actually gone through a platform. It's not just been written by yourself um, and, and is not true. I use Senja completely for free. Again, I don't see any reason to join their premium platform yet. But again, if you have a team, that might be something you'd look into. Stripe. So everyone needs a payment processor and our choice is Stripe. Um, you'll probably need a payment processor, particularly if you're working with international clients as wire transfers can be difficult um, across countries. I would simply just pick the best option based on the fees. I was using uh, PayPal before because I think the fees were slightly better. Um, but then at one point, PayPal withheld some of my money because they value the buyer over the seller a hell of a lot more. Um, and so then I switched over to Stripe. What I do like about Stripe is creating payment links and invoices is really easy. And I tend to create payment Stripe links um, that I actually share on my call. And that means I can close the deal on the call and have them pay on the call there in front of me um, nice and quickly. So the pricing will depend where you live, but for me it's 1.5% plus 20p per transaction. Dashlane. So this is one piece of software that is massively overlooked and that is a password manager. And my favorite password manager is Dashlane. You're able to keep all of you and your team's passwords safe and secure. And with Dashlane, you're able to actually share passwords with other people external to your team nice and easily. For Dashlane, it's $20 for 10 employees. And then when you go beyond that, they have a $8 per user per month deal. Google Workspace. So of course, a lot of us are already using Google Workspace as well. It has their full suite of Google Docs, slides, uh, sheets, all that kind of thing. It also comes with their Google Meets. And I really like Google Meets. Lots of people complain about it, but I have had no problems with it. And I'd prefer to use that over paying for another uh, video platform like uh, Zoom. I do think Gmail is the best emailing software. Um, it has great searchability. Um, and as well as that, you're able to really customize the actual layout of Gmail. And if you're interested in how I've customized my Gmail for productivity, drop a comment uh, below and I can make a video about that. You of course can also set up your email domains based on your website domain. And so I have mine at hello at sandbird.co. Um, and then that's also sandbird.co is my website. So for the pricing, you can pick multiple different pa packages. I found that the uh, cheapest option, the standard, standard option of five pound per user is absolutely fine for me. But if you have more storage needs, you might need to go up in the different plans. MailerLite. So MailerLite is our email marketing platform of choice. Um, lots of people use ConvertKit, but we found that we actually don't need as many features as ConvertKit has. And so MailerLite is a, um, a cheaper option to, to go for. Email marketing is an absolute must um, for agencies and something that, again, lots of them overlook. And you could go ahead and do um, individual emails or you could do bulk emails, but you really need an email marketing platform to be able to do 
um, uh, uh, workflows, but also uh, have your emails be addressed to the person. Um, and as well as creating those workflows, you can set up sequences um, of different campaigns, uh, different subscriber lists, and to really get targeted with your email marketing. So MailerLite starts at $10 per month, but this is dependent on the number of subscribers you have. So I have a, over a thousand subscribers and so I had to jump up in plans. Pitch. So here's one you might not have heard and that is Pitch. Pitch is essentially a sales deck or a slides uh, um, software that allows you to create really beautiful slides really easily because of the templates that they have and the software that is uh, easy to use. So we use Pitch for all of our sales deck. And again, they have these templates that means you can create them within minutes and then you can uh, export them. And if you want, you can even then leave the platform and now you have your sales deck as a PDF ready to go. So Pitch is $20 per month. But again, you could potentially stop using the platform once you've created all of your different decks. Framer. So Framer is our website builder and website host of choice. I often get complimented on my website saying it's really uh, clean and it's really nice UI UX, um, but I actually created it literally within a weekend using a template I found within on the Framer website. Framer is slightly more advanced than something like Squarespace, um, but it has um, the design capabilities to be advanced, but also it's still easy to use if you're not a complete pro when it comes to designing websites. If you are a complete pro um, and you're familiar with Figma, then you will recognize the sort of layout and the functions um, that it has to that. I've often found that the actual particular style that comes from Framer websites is becoming a bit of a trend at the moment as well. So if you do create a Framer website, you'll be sort of looking cutting edge and cool um, with everyone else that are using Framer as well. Framer also has CMS, which basically means that you can create blogs within your website. And I think creating blogs for your website, if you're already doing email marketing, is a great thing to do because it helps with SEO. If you answer a particular question that someone has when they're searching online, um, they're gonna be directed straight to your website and then hopefully to your services. Framer starts at 12 pound per month. And again, if you have more features, more needs, I wanted multiple CMSs, for example, then that price may increase. So they're all 15 of our favorite softwares to use in our agency. Uh, but software is obviously one piece of the puzzle when it comes to systematizing your agency. And if you're interested in systematizing your agency, you should check out my video series here or here to learn more about how we use systems to help uh, agency scale. And if you found this video useful, please do consider subscribing and liking the video. Uh, until next time, bye-bye.